So we're here. Yes. Just to visit with you today and find out what kind of health journey have you been on? My health has been through a lot. I have a debilitating, uh, rare genetic condition now called dysautonomia. I finally have been diagnosed with that. They still don't know a lot what's wrong. I think the more they search, the more they find answers that we don't want. This past few weeks, they found a brain aneurysm. So we're just searching, we're trying, and whatever happens, we know it's God's will, so. And that's sometimes easy to say, but extremely oh, hard, hard to live, yeah. <laughs> and really, it's just letting go of control of what you want for your life, no matter what that is. No, you have to figure out my health. I didn't realize it until I was challenged with it. My, I, I loved my healthy body and I miss it very much. But you have to just let go of what you want for yourself and know that whatever God has planned for you, the good, the bad, it's okay. And that he will take care of you. So what are there ways that God's family can help? Um, Definitely prayer to hear from yeah. you and us listening to the spirit of, hmm, I'm thinking of Felicia and Sean today. Yeah. I wonder what I could do for Zoe today and take action on it. Do you mind? Yeah, go. It sounds crazy, but you just got to be there. Stop asking of when can I come see you and how are you feeling? Forget all that. Yeah. Forget it. Because you know how she's feeling? Bad. <laughs> you know how she's going to feel tomorrow? Maybe yeah. worse. Yeah. Right? So if it's like, oh, I don't want to come over because she's sick, she's sick every day. Yeah. Mm. Don't distance yourself because someone's not well because you think, oh, when I'm not feeling well, I don't want to be around people. That's true because you have the forward perspective of thinking that maybe in a few days I'm going to feel better. I'm going to want to go to Starbucks and get a coffee. I'm going to want to be able to, I can, I can go get my groceries in a few days. That, may, that, that plan can't exist for her. Just be there and be a friend. Mm. Be fun in the ways that you think you can be. So I am going to be getting a service dog. With dysautonomia, my blood pressure drops and uh, my heart rate elevates every time I stand up. Mm. So that means I pass out pretty quickly. The dog is gonna alert me to let me know my heart rate has elevated and my blood pressure drops. They can actually detect that. And I truly didn't believe it until we went and experienced it. And a dog alerted me that I was going to pass out with about a four minute warning, I think it was about four. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so if I have a few minutes to collect myself, get to a safe area, um, that changes a lot for me. And that's just one task of many. Well, I want to thank you both for sharing so much. I know it wasn't easy. <laughs> um, but we also want to hear your story, want to share your story, but we want to add to your story as well. And so um, I am here to represent ACC, who wants to help you with your service dog. Aww. So um, we Thank do something you. called Dollar Club, and um, this recent Dollar Club, we raised $1,000, and we'd like to give that to Aww. you guys, because we wow. know that God is with you. Mm -hmm.